Hey guys, we have a video request. A review of a Diecast Promotions 164th scale Peterbilt 379. And a 3 axle red KC3 replicas low boy in 164th scale. Start off with the truck. This is a diecast promotion truck, so there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, literally nothing. They have an outstanding detail. I can't open the hood because I have an oversized load banner on it. But inside has a huge <coughs> or a highly detailed engine, a Cummins engine. It's just outstanding the way they do their trucks. Here's a headlight. Headlights, the grills, they all look awesome. You can see my camera. That's how chrome, that's how good the chrome looks. Here's the rear, has Peterbilt mud flaps. The fifth wheel, kind of large, but that's okay. Spring ride suspension. I added a custom fourth axle, because it before was just a tandem, so I stuck a fourth axle under the drive shaft. Sorry. And here, here's the engine. Here's underneath it. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with their trucks. I'm going to have to put a headache rack on this one, though. Because this one came with a dump trailer originally. So, here's some airline stuff. Some grab bars. Reflection things. I forgot what they're called. Got some uh, compartments. It's a little bit dusty, just a little bit. This is in 164th scale, so. The stacks, they're normal. They're pretty good. I like those. The air cleaner, the mirror, they're just outstanding. You will not be depressed with their models. They are just awesome. They make the best truck models I've ever had. So, and well, until I get a sword truck, hopefully. Front axle steers. Doors do not open. But I find that okay. But the cab does have tons of detail. It's 164 scale, so you can't really tell, but you have to see it in person. There are lights on the side. I mean, their models are just outstanding. Now, time for the KC3 replicas. Three axle. Oh boy. The gooseneck. This is almost is like a Tonkin replicas, three axle red little boy, but they just shrunk it almost. That's because say it's almost the same thing. I stuck an oversized load banner in there. The rear, I do like their trailers. This is my only KC3 trailer, so but they're pretty good. They only make little boy trailers. They make three axle little boy trailers, and that's it. But I think they're really good. Spring air ride on all three axles. I taped in the outriggers because the ones on mine kind of uh, flopped out a little easily. I did not. I never use them. So the gooseneck detaches with a little knob, just like Tonkin replicas. Plastic ramps fold down. This is diecast metal. Obviously, it shines. Trailers diecast. These uh ramps or uh things, whatever they are, I forgot. I have not done a, I have not done anything with my dad's truck in a really long time, so I'm kind of out of it right now. And since this is 164 scale, it's kind of hard to get the knob back in. I got big fingers, so. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Got it. I had to use pliers to turn the knob. But yeah, the knob. Underneath it, pretty nice. Chamber decals. Or decorations, whatever. There's the KC3 logo. Can't really tell, but you can tell. KC3 replicas. 
gooseneck. Has hydraulic detail. I really like this little boy trailer. It's my favorite one, I suppose. For deck, for, uh, for, uh, decorations. Oh, God. For details. This is my favorite one for details, but I like my black one better. My black, um, I forgot the manufacturer. But I like it better still for because it's metal, it doesn't have a spring ride, but I really like it. Flex haul made by, uh, I, I don't know. Let me get this thing off the track line. I to unscrew it, there we go. Here's the front of it. Side of it. You guys might like us. Watch. See? They just look awesome if you can do this. I'm on a rowing chair, by the way, so that's what that noise is. So, yeah, I highly recommend this model. The KC3 trailers you have to buy by themselves, but you can get them from almost, well, I don't know exactly where you can get them, but you can get them on, uh, I think, you can get them on some of the websites. If you don't know, um, ask me over a personal message and I'll send you a uh, URL. So I really recommend this model. It comes with an East Dump trailer, not the little boy, obviously. Here's the East Dump trailer. I'm not going to do a review of it, but this is what you'll see it as. Yeah. I still recommend the dump trailer. I like it, too. I like all my trucks. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Once again, this is a video request. It's a track trailer request, so yeah, it'll be eight minutes long, however long it is. So, yeah. Thanks, guys.